Hello everyone, my name is Jay Martin. Thank you for watching TDB Replays. We are watching General Corbeau, one of my favorite players. He's sort of the Valencio of Napoleon, StarCraft reference. And he does weird stuff, and it, it usually works, it seems. He's playing Austria this game. And the first thing I notice is we are bringing the heavy cab. That's actually kind of a hallmark of him doing things. There are three Grenzers. Odd choice. I'm going to assume the rules were four or five lights. So we've got the heavy cav. We got some lights. We have... Is Archduke Charles the nine star? I want to... My Austria is weak. I want to say that's a nine-star general. So he likes morale and he likes crashing with heavy cab. And we're doing something weird. <laughs> Nobody does this! What is this? Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll see what, what you're doing. Nobody does this. I need to put a audio limiter on my microphone. His opponent, I want to take a moment. There's four rifles. And then it's all Highland foot. We have the cursory guard in reserve. And then three guard cab. This kind of screams new player to me. Bad player, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I was actually curious and I went and checked. And the Highland Foot actually have 50 accuracy, 7 morale. That is a little bit better than the baseline Hungarians. So Corbeau starts this weird thing where he moves in column down the left. And I'm curious how he's envisioning this game playing out what makes this seem like a good idea but the man's got a plan he has always got a plan and i love how corbeau's kind of consistent meta breaking move is just heavy cav like everyone else plays lancers or shooters he's like no fuck that my dudes have armor Nobody else plays that. Maybe, maybe we sh maybe we're missing something. Maybe we should. Corbo might know something we don't. It's very possible. So what is he thinking from this position? We're we're stationary here. At some point, he has to deploy. I guess we can look at this from the opponent's perspective. And this dude is kind of making the predictable move, like, okay, you want to move all the way over here, I'll, I'll move way over here. A really smart move right now would be dropping stakes with these rifles. I don't think they're going to do it. And the rifles are really close to the line. I don't know how a shootout between four rifles and three Grenzers goes. And I guess we should note, this is on, um, what's the term, the biggest settings, 160 men in a unit. Corbeau says, ooh, I got you where I want you. I, I also am confused by how narrow, we're in the full three ranks here. This is still screaming new player to me. I guess the way that Corbo's tactics work, it doesn't matter if he's playing against a one-star new player or an incredibly experienced player. He's, he's going to do his thing, and it's either going to work or it isn't. Let's keep an eye on these GB Cav here and see what they bring to the table. Corbo stretches out a little bit. Seems like he's looking at getting on this flank here.
And I can hear the horn banging, so units are moving. Mm -hmm. GB wants to move up a little bit. Okay, now Corbeau's moving here. Okay, the cab are moving. So he's got a plan. GB starts moving up. Where's this unit going? Probably over here. GB cab is moving this direction. Okay, Gorenzers are coming up. That was a heck of a volley from the rifles, down to 85. That was 35 casualties in one hit. Okay, but, so, okay, so now we're advancing. This is an extreme, okay, hold on. Pause. <clears throat> this is an extremely good position. He's like clearly on the flank with three units. Grenzers get to fire back. There's going to be overflow bullets. The lights are too close to the line. Grenzers going to hit for a max efficiency. This cav unit needs to do something with itself, or it just got shot and lost a third of its unit. Oh, it gets worse. I don't know why the Highlands morale is dropping so fast. Okay, and here's here's the move. Okay, he does this thing. I want to pause. So, there's two ways you can start a melee attack. The first is you, you know, have your unit selected and then right click on the precise unit you want to attack. The other thing you can do is you just put a move order here that would, if the unit, you know, walks that direction, they'll wind up in melee. My understanding is you only get the charge bonus if you right-click on the specific target. In other words, this move order here won't get you the charge bonus. Somebody who understands this a little better than me, like calling Warren or Dinah or Theodore or whatever, um, please let me know because I'm pretty sure the move order he's executing right here won't get a charge bonus. But what he does do, what he's doing, is this four land where? Holy shit. So four land where go into melee. Maybe he doesn't care about charge bonus because it's small enough. Then the rest of the line moves in really close. And now here come the cab. And these are the heavy cab. And again, he's using the same tactic. Just put a move order behind you so that we'll inevitably run into you. Now, being that these are landware, I don't think he cares about killing his own men. He just doesn't want them to be able to square. So, all of a sudden we're playing rugby, and uh, GB cab not being relevant, horse guards are flirting over here, gets in a square in case. The rest of the infantry is up close enough to shoot. So the horse have crashed to the line are now moving back here. He continues the charge of the land where through them. This is the kind of thing that I love watching Corbo's games. He does absurd maneuvers. So the horse are now back here where the general and some dragoon guards are like, what's going on? Like, this is strange. Still a good position vis-a-vis -vis this infantry unit. What's that? 10th Hussar to two-thirds strength. He does need to be careful here. This is a, an emerging position from the GB player. That's a good charge. Watch this. <laughs> well, maybe if they're 
18 men on the unit isn't great, but that should be enough to shock that Highland. So GB withdraws to a line here. I, what I think he's doing right now is microing his cav, and he wants to clear out this little detachment. So the movement of these units is a little slower, which is fine. There he goes. So the GB player was narrow enough that the combination of the four land we're hitting and the follow-up from the heavy cab did massive amounts of damage to the center of the GB line, killed a lot of their infantry, GB cab never really showed up. What is over here? These are 10th Usar rifle... And an isolated highland. This isn't a problem. If he can clean this up, and then it's just this, he still has the three Grenzers. The heavy cav are probably going to live through this period of the battle, so we're probably done. In fact, let's just kick in a fast forward. But again, this is another example of Corbo doing like. A big shock type attack, which seems to be his trademark. I really enjoy watching these atypical strategies. Most Napoleon players are a little more like, I don't know what's the right word, like reserved. Nobody makes big moves like this. So that was cool to see. The Grenzers should get into action here. And I have something to say about this. Highland at 52. Not looking great. Yeah, he just needs to chase this down. He's brought the cab back way over here. Looks like the Highland route up there. Rifles are running back. I think he's got enough troops and and rage advantage that he can close this out kind of however he wants. There's technically a 10th Sars at 23, but I don't think that's enough to be relevant. And he's decided to push in with the infantry here. Yeah. That's going to be the game. Boom. Yeah, Corbo, love your games, man. Love doing them. Keep being weird. I In the back of my mind, I love the idea that Corvo just might understand the game better than the rest of us. And he's like, yeah, why, why aren't the rest of you guys doing this? This is the way. <laughs> you know what I should do is I should actually, like, 1v1 Corvo or something and, and like, live stream it. Because like, I'm kind of really a, a baseline, middle-of-the-road kind of player. And if Corvo beat the crap out of me, I'd be like, Hey, I got a bow to that. <laughs> that would be great. And maybe I was wrong. Like, like he's not the one who's weird. We are for not... Why are we not all Corboing? Right? Maybe we should all be Corboing. Maybe we're the ones who are wrong. That would be a really refreshing frame of reference. But it's pretty obvious this this one is is gonna get wrapped up. Thanks for sending the game, man. I, I don't get to all the replays, but I try to get to most of them. If you found this entertaining and you would like to play some competitive Total War, you are. Uh, 
Welcome to join us on Discord and to arrange games. We do tournaments from time to time. I think they're fun. You can meet some good players, hook up with them. Additionally, I've been streaming on Twitch. It's kind of a new thing I'm trying to do, and um, I'm not very good at it. But uh, get a little more experience every weekend. That was fun. Played some games with the uh, Unity dudes last, last weekend, and that was fun. Uh, General Sir Anthony, by the way, I really enjoyed your Rising Storm stream the other day, and you popped into my Twitch, and my microphone wasn't working. So I was trying to talk to you, but I couldn't. So if you watch this, maybe that's an explanation. I was like, hey, Anthony, you can't hear me. But anyway, if you have an interesting replay, you like me to watch you can for preference post it on the discord like corbo did or you can also email me at semi replays at gmail.com i try to check that once a week or so but this is corbo being corbo the man we need but do not deserve By the way, Austria is not supposed to win against GB. They're kind of on paper a dog. Oh, and the foot guards are still fighting. Sure. Okay. Got it. Great. Totally not used in a relevant part of the game. Smart. What do we get? Kills. The kills are actually kind of even, but look at how many more. Corbeau brought 500... Am I doing the math right? 400 more troops to the game. That's weird. Why is that? Because they... He had less cav. I guess it was the rifles? The rifles were the less men of the field. That's interesting. Anyway, I'm Jay Martin. This is TD Replays. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.